Hey, it's my Monday beauty review, but real quick, I just have to address something. <laughs> Almost every video, I get women talking about how much they hate my messy hair. Because I might do this, and then you might see that, or you know, you might see some flyaways, and it drives some women crazy. Most of you don't care. Most of you know I just this is my jam. I like messy hair. It's my I, I go out of my way to have messy hair. Like I, I create messy hair. I want messy hair, okay? But some of you cannot handle it. You just, you can't even watch me because my hair is messy and it makes you nuts. Maybe it's your OCD, I don't know. But I created a quick, quick, quick little clip of why my hair is messy and why it will always be messy. Watch. Welcome to my lifelong pursuit of French hair. French hair is always disheveled. It's glamorous, but messy. Even this ponytail, you see big chunks out of place. I couldn't love that more. You are supposed to look like you had a roll in the hay or a long nap and you got up and just continued your day. There are days I never even touch a hairbrush. Look at this mess. I know she's outdoors, but seriously, look at how messy I Love this hair. It is always my pursuit. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist and I'm the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. You can always go and watch the intro video. It's under two minutes and it will let you know if you need Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's about 23 videos and counting. Once you get locked in at that price, you're locked in. If I add more videos, you never pay another dime. You're in for life, okay? Today is my Monday beauty review. I've decided to do them every other Monday and that's been going well, but I think it would probably be better to just do one larger Monday beauty review uh, a month. I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Maybe just one Monday beauty review a month because so much of it is skincare and it's really hard to test out skincare in only one to two weeks, especially when, you know, I love it's, it's the Sonia Roselli. I mean, look, this, this guy's empty. I saved an empty just to show everyone how much I use this twice a day. The, the, the water elixir. Oh my gosh, do I love it. And then I love the oil. Um, her water balm is divine, and she says you can use it as a primer. Tate! But, um, of course, I would use an SPF over it at night. And what's really helped me from healing from this, you know, chemical peel is her intense barrier cream. I do that at night. I just use this for the first time since right before my chemical peel. I use sex appeal every single morning but I used it this morning and I feel like it got, got like just gently, gently exfoliated dead skin cells. You can always find my Sonia Roselli links. I just spoke to her this week too. We do a lot of voice back and forth um, on Instagram and also email and she's such a delight and she's working so hard on some new products. So I'll keep you posted. But I was telling her that I've never ever had so much positive feedback from any skincare line. And I mean, I went around the room and I told her the skincare lines that I probably have 30 skincare lines in this room right now. And I keep going to hers every single day because it's the one that makes me look the most plump and hydrated. It's that plump, bouncy, hydrated skin. I just, I love it. And if you're on a budget, I fully understand. You could always look for a sale, sign into her uh, website because then you could put your email in and then she can send you different emails on when they have sales. And if you could only start with one thing, I would, I would definitely start with Sex Appeal if you do not have a daily exfoliant or this gorgeous, gorgeous elixir, the water elixir. Now, one thing that also got me so tickled this week, we are in award season, right? So we've already done the uh, People's Choice. We've done Grammys. We've done, I think they just did BAFTA. They did Critics' Choice. They did uh, Golden Globes, right? Emmys. We're waiting for the big one, the Oscars. That's my favorite. But Blake Lively went to the Critics' Choice Awards last week. And Vivian Baker, if you don't know that name, Vivian Baker is 
just about the tippy tippy top of professional makeup artists. She does a lot of red carpet. She does magazine covers. Like she's a, she's a makeup artist that I could only insp aspire to be because I left Hollywood so that I can't really get into that kind of makeup. So I was in TV and film and, and that was a nice niche and I loved it. But she used all Sonia Roselli on Blake Lively to prep her skin and it was just beautiful. And it was just so exciting because Vivian Baker would not use some mediocre skincare line. Like Vivian Baker has to have these starlets looking pristine. They're being scrutinized. The makeup artist is being scrutinized. The hairstylist is being scrutinized. The celebrity is being scrutinized. So I, that was just like great validation. I'm like, Vivian Baker, like she's kind of a hero, you know, to me as a makeup artist. And she used it on Blake Lively, who is just stunning. So I will tell you too, I might mention this before, but a, a couple of years ago, I bought the Augustina spotter because everyone was talking about it and it's this is 265 dollars and this is 1.7 ounces they recommend twice a day this is the rich cream this is the original cream they were known for and i bought a 10 day sample and i was using it twice a day for 10 days maybe even once a day i can't remember and i did notice the difference in my skin i was i really did i didn't want to but i did i noticed that it was a little bit firmer a little bit brighter so I never bought it again because I thought, well, even though it's super good, I'm not spending $265 on a moisturizer. Well, full disclosure, Augustina's Botter sent this to me because they know my demographic. And I was so excited. And I coated my face in this one night this week because, you know, I'm still coming off the chemical peels. So I'm, using, I'm not using Actives. I'm not using ret any type of retinaldehyde. I'm not using retinol. I haven't used retinol since I used my beautiful rock product before the peel. Um, I just started using vitamin C today, the Paula's Choice 25%. But I coated my face in this one night. Was it Tuesday night? Just like three pumps because I didn't pay for it. So I was like pump, pump, pump and just massaging it in and it felt so good. Didn't think anything of it. The next morning I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel, I feel like sandpaper. Like I felt dry. I felt like sandpaper. That doesn't happen with Sonia Roselli. Okay. Sonia Roselli, I wake up and I seriously touch my face. My face feels plump. It feels bouncy. I love, it's the best skincare I've ever used. There, I said it. I think I've said it before, but anyway, I always have a link. I would really appreciate, sometimes I don't care whose link you use, but I would really appreciate you always using my link for Sonia Roselli, even if it's on sale, because I just want her to know that I'm sending people to her because I just believe in her and I believe in her product. And anyway, so speaking of bouncy skin, Naturium, who is a brand that I love. I love Naturium. I love Susan Yara. Naturium is drugstore products that are so superior to Cetaphil or CeraVe or L'Oreal, Oil of Olay. All of, in my opinion, Naturium is more science um, led. It's more forward thinking. I just think they're more innovative with their products and they're a smaller company, so they can be right. By the way, Elf just bought them, so we'll see what happens. But this is the Barrier Bounce Advanced Skin Hydration. And it has squalene, it has ceramides, it has urea. It, it's got some cool stuff in it. So, so I was excited to use it today. And I did, I did use it. She said, if you're, you know, more oily, this could just be your moisturizer and your serum in one. I want to show you the texture. It's super, oop, it's all over my, it's super watery. Okay, you just saw that. Super watery, it's not all over my sweats. But it could be really nice for oily skin. It could be really nice, just as a nice bouncy hydration before your moisturizer. But I'm thinking, gosh, oily women in the summer and the heat, the humidity, this could be amazing. So I put it on today and it did feel nice. It felt a little bouncy, but it wasn't enough bounce for me. Like I'm gonna keep trying it. I just tried it once, I tried it today. I actually was like, oh, I need a little more bounce. So I then waited about five minutes and then I went in with my Sonia Roselli water balm and I'm like, there it is. 
there's the plump bounce that I'm looking for. If you don't know what bouncy skin means, because some of you might be like, what is she talking about? Bouncy skin is a term I used when I started using snail mucin two years, a little over two years ago. And I, I actually included snail mucin into my skincare video in my masterclass. It's something that when you touch your face, your skin just kind of, it just bounces back. It's just like bouncy. It's, it's just plump. It's just, it, it's just amazing. So anyway, if you are on a budget, this is very nice. I definitely felt the bounce. It just wasn't the same bounce that I get from the Sonia Roselli. Another thing I really liked, I love in essence, which is why I love the, her water prep, right? And I pump it into my hands. You can see it's super water. I pump it into my hands and I quickly, quickly rub it all over my face and my neck. But some women don't like that, that it's too messy for them. So this is really nice. Trish McAvoy sent me this. This is a calming rose water essence. You had me at rose water, but you can just spray it all over your your neck, your hands, your, you know, whatever. Let me put it on my neck. Lord knows I can use all of it. Oh, I want to talk to, if you watched my Saturday video on my one year uh, review from my facelift, or if you, even if you never plan on getting a facelift, I go kind of deep into procedures and how the industry is preying on us and preying on our vulnerability and preying on aging. Um, I'm going to talk about that at the end. I want you to, to listen. And if you didn't watch that video, even if you don't want surgery ever, ever, if it's not in the cards for you financially, or even you just, that's not something you wish to do because you are cutting open your whole face. It's pretty gross. I want you to still watch the video uh, because I do talk about all the treatments, the lasers, the micro needling, all the big expensive treatments. And I want to tell you, I talked to an insider over the weekend. There's also a doctor in comments. She's actually, she's a skin PA, a physician assistant, and she's in comments and she gives the best advice, the best advice. So I'm so happy that we're having this conversation and I'm so thankful for so many of you that were very vulnerable and you shared your details. Thank you. That helps other women. I really, really appreciate it. I'm also appreciate, appreciative for the women who did have morphia aid and love it, or they did have CO2 laser and they loved it. Sometimes these procedures work beautifully, but the amount of women it doesn't work for is staggering and it's just so expensive and you're just putting your money right down the toilet for so many women. Okay. Stay till the end. We're going to talk about that. Okay. You know that I just had my colors done, okay? I am a warm spring. Let's get it out. Let's get it. Let's get this out of the way. I am messy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I have a new concealer to talk about today, too. Okay, so this is in plastic, but I am warm spring. And it's I can't tell you how liberating it is to know my season. I go through, I went through Carol Braley. She was, uh, I found her on TikTok and I found her fascinating. Oh, sorry, this is so loud. Because what I loved about her more than any of the other color people that you see online, and there are a lot of experts. Carol Braley has these little dusty rose pom-poms that she shakes and she's like, yay, warm spring, right? Here's my warm spring palette. I'm so excited to wear this purple again, Orchid. I wore this a lot in junior high. And do you notice how I'm wearing navy? This is a really pretty navy sweater I bought last spring. I've never worn it. I just took the tags off. It's pretty, it has a little puffy sleeve. And you know what? I wanted to wear it today. It's, it's not in my palette. I can wear a lighter navy that has a lot of warmth in it. But you know what? I'm not going to be confined to my palette. And when I go outside of my palette, I'm at least going to try to wear like makeup in my palette. So this is a really corally, where's my, um, oh, this is an Ilia blush, a multi-stick. It's um, something ruby. Look how cute it is. I have that on my cheeks. And then on my lips, I have Victoria Beckham in Fever. And do you see how fun? It's like a bright tomato red. So I'm going to do my best if I if I do go outside in my season to at least wear 
makeup that is in my season and my hair color is in my season and I'm wanting to go even the tiniest bit warmer but I just wanted you to see I love Carol she's a true cheerleader she truly cheers women on this is these are the colors I'm gonna look best in this is the colors these are the colors that I'm gonna look very harmonious in okay and so it's just liberating now to shop because it's like I would have never worn this corally tomatoey red but I just bought beautiful shoes in this color and I'm looking at a pretty shirt from J Crew in this color I'm now buying greens I didn't know I could wear greens my whole life I've never worn Kelly green I didn't know and you know it helps that my hair color is darker it's warmer I know some of you don't like it as much you like me as the lighter blonde I just feel more myself in this and I've been blonde for 40 years. I started frosting my hair in 1984 all by myself. So I just, and it's hard to see, but I, I'm, I'm a lot warmer up here. Uh, I think when I go back to her at the end of March, I'm going to, you know, have her do my roots the same 7G B, which is golden blonde. Um, and then I want to go a little more gold. This is still feeling like a gold beige. I want to, I want to be more golden. And then I want you to see more gold and more red in my hair because that's really going to pop with my skin and my eyes. My eyes have green, like an olive green. Um, but let's look at this. Hello, gray. Hello. And this is why I was gray blending, right? This is why I was gray blending for seven years because when that gray grew in, it blended right in with my blonde. You can see it right through here. You can see a little right through here. Obviously, it's going to be at this temple too. You can see it. This is what, three weeks? Yeah, we're at three weeks, okay? And then I have a couple, I don't I don't really have much through here. I still grow in dark. I didn't, I never got that white skunk stripe, which is why I knew I never could go silver because I don't have silver hair. I have little bits and pieces of it. But back here is somewhere back here is also a funny little silver patch, okay? So I'm real excited because this color, this color company reached out to me, Better Natured. I haven't used it yet. And they're gonna be sold at Sally Beauty in March, okay? The reason I'm talking about this is because this is for gray coverage that you can do at home, but it doesn't lift. So it's not going to make my roots lighter or warmer. It's literally just to paint on the areas where you have gray. So if you're a brunette, how easy is that, that you can just get a really nice brunette and paint it on? I'm going to do a video, uh, I think on TikTok, maybe Instagram too, but I think on TikTok. They, they've asked me to do a video. That's why I'm going to do a video for them. But this is N9 or 9N. She said, I talked to their top colorist. She said, these go on so much darker than they look because they don't lift. They only deposit on gray. You keep it on 45 minutes and um, they go on warmer. So it says neutral, but she's like, trust me, these are warm colors. Um, they sent me eight in and I read in the comments that it took a blonde from a, a, a blonde used eight in and she went from like a medium blonde to like auburn roots and she was furious. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. So I'm I'm gonna do the the nine in and I'm just probably in two weeks I'm gonna go in when these when this is more noticeable and I'm gonna paint this in. And it smells good and it's clean. I forgot to mention that. This is this is clean beauty. There is no toxic chemicals in here that would score high on any of the clean beauty websites okay and, and their packaging is beautiful okay so we talked about that i wanted to say real quick i am wearing a foundation today that i put on for tiktok i bought it before my peel and i haven't been able to wear it but you will see some people over on tiktok and instagram talking about it and i was real excited for it and i have it on and it looks pretty right but not close up, not close up. It is patchy, it is collecting in all of my pores. You can see it in all of my texture. And what do I always say, especially with Saint, we have to go darker because when we go darker, it shows less texture, right? 
same with this. So I got light warm and light medium warm. And you would think like that would work, right? Look at that. Can you see that? You would think that would work. It's too light. I can see it everywhere. The only reason I didn't take it off is because I know you guys don't care. Also, I don't just talk about great things I love. I talk about what doesn't work. Right now, this about face, $22 at Ulta, skincare infused, it's not working. But I think it's because it's too light. So stay tuned, I will definitely come back. I'm gonna go take this back. I'm gonna get a deeper color. I'm gonna try it again. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay? And we'll move on, it's fine. We don't have to love every foundation. Another foundation that I love, I really love it, and I wore it in my Saturday video on my YouTube, my one-year review. It's back here. It's, um, let's see, can you see? It's way over there. It's the Makeup Forever Hydra Glow. Wow, is it pretty. It is pretty. It is pretty close up. It's pretty in the Saturday video. You can go look at my skin. I'm real impressed. I love it. I love Makeup Forever. So that I loved. Okay. One other thing. Tom Ford Concealer. Okay. Here's the thing. I went to Atlanta. Oh, look, let me pause and I'll be right back. Okay. I went to Atlanta with my friend Ashley and she is doing makeup for Lindsay Lohan for a Netflix holiday movie, which is so fun, right? How fun is that? And she went to get Clay to Poe because even back when I was in my 30s and a makeup artist in Hollywood, Clay de Poe is what all of the movie stars wore. It comes in a little bullet. Many of you know it. It's been around since the 90s. And I used to wear beige. And somewhere around 38, 39, 40, I'm not sure. It just, it, it just showed texture and it dried down. And I just, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. So I have recently heard through the grapevine, maybe a podcast, I can't remember, that the Tom Ford is better and it's slowly replacing Clay de Poe. Well, we were at Neiman Marcus and I said, I'm going straight to Tom Ford and I'm gonna buy this. And I went with Golden because remember, I'm now, oh, I'm a warm spring. So I have the warmer skin. So I went with 3W1. I haven't, I don't have it on today. Right now I just have a little Demi. And by the way, you can wear a nice cream concealer over Demi. The Demi's color correcting. So let's see. I have the tiniest, tiniest bit of creasing with the Demi. I don't think I prepped my eye either, come to think of it. Okay, watch. I find this works best when you draw it on. Okay. Do you see where I put it? And then I just pat it in with my finger and it just literally melts into the skin. I wore this the whole day I bought it. I had no makeup on because remember I was still peeling from my, from my peel. I just ordered more too. I ordered more stuff for peels. We'll talk about that in a minute. But it's, it's really beautiful. And then I also did a TikTok where I put on the Tom Ford and I powdered one eye and not the other. And after six and a half hours, and I know six and a half hours isn't a long time, but I put it on later in the day and I wanted to go take my makeup off. So I looked at it really close up in this TikTok and sure enough, the, the eye with the powder was, it was okay. It just, it was fine nothing but the eye without powder was still creamy and radiant and very 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 pretty this is cheaper than clay de poe clay de poe is now up to 75 dollars for a concealer this was 60 still expensive don't get me wrong super super expensive but, you know, I like to try things out for my mature following. And some of you love drugstore and some of you really love the high-end luxury. So I think it's important that I know all of it. But yeah, I have this right over Demi. And I did not powder. 
but I tell, I'll tell you what I did do. Looks good around the nose too, because I get that red around the nose. I'll tell you what I did do the day that I tried it is I did my setting spray. And you know how much I love the Cali Ray Surf Proof. You can always find all my links. I mean, most of if it's not Saint, then it's in my shop, my looks. I mean, sometimes I put things on Amazon. Ooh, I really saturated my face. You really need to. You really need to saturate your face for it to, to really work well. Um, gosh, now it's all over me. Okay. Yeah, look how creamy and pretty that is. And whereas this like foundation is patchy and catching in all of my um, texture, this Tom Ford is really beautiful. So anyway, I just wanted you to know some women like a bougie concealer. You can throw it in your purse because it's a little stick. And I did not have creasing at the end of six and a half hours, even though it's a cream. But I did I did use setting spray. Um, what else? Okay, I also tried Kosas. So Kosas came out, oh, I bet it's not in here, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Kosas came out with these new BB skin tints and I wore one one day and it was really, really nice. Uh, which color did I wear? That is light natural, light cool, I think I wore light natural. Light cool, light cool. Okay, I have two light cools. That's because I was in our system as cool and now I've switched to more warm. But anyway, neutral works. I wore this one day and this was gorgeous. So if you just like that kind of sheer skin tint and you've seen this, uh, this is a really, really pretty product, the BB cream. Does it have, oh, and it blurs too. No, it says BB burst. Um, tinted gel cream. I don't believe it has SPF in it. I don't believe it does. It's got copper peptides. That's the that's the gimmick. It has copper peptides. But it is really it's it's they're, they're calling it serious skincare with a tint, okay? And I wore it and it was gorgeous. It's not a lot of coverage though. Um I probably get a lot more coverage out of my Pomifera BB cream that I love. Okay, what else did I want to talk about real quick and then we'll get to the good stuff. Um, I have on, you know my favorite uh, bronzer is Bella Bronzer, but I have on the Makeup by Mario and it's perfect, Light. this is light medium, his skin enhancer. It's like a cream, but it kind of dries a little more like a, pow It's I don't know, it's, it's such a great product. I've used this for, I don't know, a year and a half maybe. But this is the light medium, and I love it in the winter, but I just picked up his medium, and I put it on one day, and I do like the medium better. So I'm probably wearing the medium a lot more in the um, spring and summer. Very, very pretty. Great, great, great product. If you want that softer, more sheer-looking bronzer, it's a gorgeous product. Um, okay, I want to end with this, and then we'll talk about some more about procedures. I think that's everything that we've, yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, this company found me on my shop, my looks, shop my shelf. It's called Madame Limi or Lemmy, or I don't know, but it's, it's these little petite French body powders. I haven't used a body powder in Four decades, three, four decades. Do you remember shower to shower? Oh, that was the best smelling body powder. I might have still used that in my 30s. I'm sure it was loaded with talc. But these are talc free. They're all natural. It, and they say you can use it as a deodorant as well. And there's rose, lemon, lavender, and lime. And I am wearing the rose today. But aren't they beautiful? And all you do is you just kind of shake, shake, shake. And then I want to show you, because they actually say it's a powder 
It's a powder deodorant. It's all scented naturally because this is a clean beauty product. But look, doesn't this remind you of your mom and your grandma? My mom would get out of the bath. She would put Shalimar powder all over, or Shalimar lotion or body cream all over, and then she would end with the Shalimar powder. We always had a big powder in her bathroom, and oh, it smelled so good. I miss my mom so much, but I love these. And sometimes, even if I'm wearing antiperspirant, and I know antiperspirant's not safe, I know the aluminum's bad for us, I know all that, but I sometimes can still get a little schwitzy with antiperspirant even, and I'm wearing this today, and I feel so dry and good, and it's not as, like, you can smell the rose when you're close up to it, but, like, I don't smell it on myself. Anyway, the Madame Lemmy, how beautiful would that be for a gift for someone or for yourself or for Easter? You could put one in people's Easter basket or... I'm so impressed. I'm going to put this in my shop, my shelf, because I just used it this weekend and I'm just like, wow. And I used it today and I'm like, wow, 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 wow. It's so, so, so good. Okay. I think that's it. I'm still doing great on my nails. So thank you all for that. This is a, I switched to gel. I was using all the OPI stuff, but they were peeling off my nails in four or five days. So this is all gel. Uh, so I'm using these little powder see how they're like almost metallic-y but yet you can see through it like glazed donut Halle Bieber nails it's these little powders I got on Insta uh, not Instagram Amazon so they come with these little applicators that we used to use for eyeshadow and um they cut they're these little powders and you tap it and you buff it on your nail, you do a top coat, 20 seconds, then you buff this very carefully, and then you put it in for, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, maybe a minute, and then you do one more layer of top coat, and boom, you've got these beautiful, and they're holding um, well. I mean, these have been on seven days now. Very happy, very, very happy. So happy y'all talked me into, go into my natural nails. I didn't think I could do it and I am. I am doing it. I, I really am so thankful. I do need my cuticle oil though. Okay. All right. Real quick. I wanted to end with, I talked to someone this weekend. I'm not going to mention who. I'm not going to mention if it was a man or a woman, but it is someone in the aesthetic industry. And what this person told me from being in the aesthetic industry for a very, very long time and this person hadn't seen my YouTube yet. They had watched it and then got back to me at the end of the day and said, wow, I sent this to my Medi spa owner or the doctor, or whoever's in charge. And I think this is an important conversation. And I think, I think we're doing a disservice to a lot of women out there. And just like the PA in the comments of that video said, I think the best advice is, don't jump on any new bandwagon. Give it a few years. Such good advice. Give it a few years. And then if you are seeing great results from women, then go get it yourself. But don't just go to anyone. You want to see dozens and dozens of before and afters in the same lighting, same angle. Because anyone can tell you it works or anyone could have that one out of a hundred person it worked great for, but how did it work for the 99? And this gal in comments, the PA, she also said, make sure the technician has done this for years. And this is another thing that I saw on, I can't remember where I saw it, but, but a, a dermatologist plastic surgeon said, Anyone who touches your face with any any treatment, whether it's laser, morpheus, microneedling, yada, 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 anyone should have at least 100 patients under their belt. They should have done it at least 100 times because 
I went to someone new. I went to a new Medi Spa. I went to an esthetician who had only used this machine for weeks or months at the most in a small town. So trust me, she wasn't doing a lot of people and it melted the lower fat in my face and my face drooped. This I know. They cannot gaslight me or tell me otherwise. This I know. So you're going to have to get tough. You're going to have to get tough with them. And the onus is on them. The onus isn't on us. We're, we're about to fork over a lot of money for a very expensive, expensive procedure that we have no guarantee, one, if it works, and two, is it going to ruin our face? No guarantee. And yet we're just like, here you go, take my money. Because we're vulnerable and we're trying to fight aging without surgery. And unfortunately, that's very hard to do. Surgery is the top way. There are women who age beautifully because they've done Retin-A for 40 years. They've done high, high SPF for 40 years. They've done chemical peels for 40 years. And you can look at one in a hundred and go, wow, she's in her 60s. She's never had surgery. She looks amazing. Her neck looks pretty darn good for 65. But they didn't age like you and I did, did they? So we can't look at them and think that's the way we should all look at 65. Most of us won't look like that at 65. So this is why surgery is really the only proven effective treatment. But even, even then you saw some women in comments that said their second facelift didn't go as well as their first facelift. You always take a risk anytime you go under the knife. But with these procedures, you make sure that they know the onus is on them. You want to see dozens of before and afters, same lighting, same angle, and you want to make sure the technician who's doing your treatment, whether it's a nurse, a PA, a dermatologist, or just a laser technician, you make sure they've done it a hundred times at least. Okay. So what this person said to me this weekend is once a day, a, a sales rep is coming into these offices, medi spas, plastic surgeons, with a new type of device, a new type of laser, the newest cutting edge, like, oh, forget clear and brilliant. We don't talk about that anymore. Now it's CO2. Oh, forget CO2. We're talking about this now. And she said, oh, I just said she, she said it is, it is nonstop. It is nonstop the pressure for all of these offices and medi spas to constantly have the newest, latest, greatest. And so what happens? Most of these laser machines, Morpheus, these units are probably 100 to $150,000 each. Well, the, the doctor, the medi spa, they got to pay these off. How do they pay them off? By getting you in the chair, by telling you you need a series of three or four. Okay, this is a business to help them. It's not helping us. How is it helping us? One out of 100 it worked for? No. So there is so much pressure to pay off these machines so they could get the next latest and greatest. I'm telling you this whole, this is a charade, this is a sham, this is, we are being scammed, we are being gaslit, we are being taken advantage of because they have a business to run. I'm sorry, no, I'm not gonna play into it anymore. That said, I binge watched Platinum Skincare videos all weekend. I love Platinum Skincare. I placed my first order. I have a link for you for 20% off your first order. Listen, I am not telling you to get TCA peel. I am not telling you to do that. I don't think anyone should start with a TCA peel. And you certainly don't start with 20%. So what many of you have told me in private message or in comments, y'all are so gracious with me. You said, Michelle, it's better to do three, four, five layers at 7% than to jump right to 20 because I burned my face. It healed beautifully. It really did. I'm really happy, but I won't do that again. I'm not going to do that again. So I ordered the Mandelic peel, the Mandelic 40, which I believe I'm going to do in a month or I'm going to do Jessner's. I got the Jessner's peel and I can all, I can also do that in a month. And then my TCA that I still have at home, I can dilute and make a 10%. 
So I'll probably even before, you know, the sun starts to ramp up this spring summer, I'll do one last peel and I might do a layer of Jessner's and a layer of like 10% TCA and see how that feels and possibly another layer. But you really have to start slow. So I started with lactic acid 40 in early, like I think January 1st or 2nd. And then I went to a light, light TCA peel. I only did one layer of 10%. And then I jumped right to 20. So that was my foolishness. I will, I know not to do that again because now I've seen the platinum skincare videos and I'm so thankful and I'm so thankful to so many of you who have used it faithfully for years and you guide me. And I so appreciate it. I might be an expert at makeup and certain skincare, but I'm definitely not an expert at peels. I want to be though because I think that that's my future is peels and good skincare and high SPF and just you know, eating right, taking care of ourselves, getting good sleep, sleeping on a satin pillowcase so we don't crease our face. But I just love y'all so much. It, I I just loved the honest conversation that we had on Saturday. And even the few of you who were maybe a little critical, I get it. I really, really, really get it. There is pressure to not age and that shouldn't be, right? We should be allowed to age and we should be allowed to be um, respected and, and viewed as lovely as we age. Unfortunately, that's just not really always the world we live in. And I've chosen a career of vanity. I've been doing makeup for 30 years now. I absolutely love it. I love helping women. Mature women are my heart. It's my heart and my soul. And so I do succumb to the pressure of not wanting to sag or age. I, I, I readily admit that. And hopefully I can come to a place where I accept that my, you know, neck lift isn't a hundred percent and I just move on. Who cares? Let's do other things. Let's have fun. So I appreciate everybody so much and, and the kindness that you've shown me and the kindness that you show to other people in comments. I think it's an important conversation. I don't think we're done with this conversation of procedures. I really don't think we're done with it. Anyway, I love you. God loves you too. I have a surprise. I'm coming back Wednesday night for a Saint eyeshadow tutorial for those of you who have been begging for more eyeshadow tutorials. I'm going to do one. It'll be brief. I'm not doing the whole face. I'm just doing the eyes Wednesday night, and I'm going to do a very neutral eye that can work for you regardless of what season you are, what palette you are. We're going to do a really neutral eye, and I'm going to kind of base it off of Kris Jenner. Whether you like the Kardashians or not, Kris Jenner is a stunning woman. Her makeup is always so pretty. We're going to do that kind of an eye, very neutral, this Wednesday night, so check back. And Saturday, I'm going to do a huge skincare video because so many of you have asked for an updated skincare video. I was going to take it just to my master class and then I thought, no, you know what? I I want this I want this available for everyone, not just my master class students. So I'm going to do a rather lengthy skincare video. I'm going to address all the different skin types including acne, including rosacea, oily, normal to oily, dry, normal to, I mean, we're going to really break it down so that everyone feels like they can find a really nice skincare routine if they're not on one. And I'm telling you, I have seen women completely change their skin after 50, completely. And I'm going to show you some before and afters when we do the Saturday video, but I have seen it with my own eyes, women over 50, completely changing their skin. I did. I did. I always thought I had really great skin until I look at 2019, 2020, when I first got on TikTok. Y'all, my skin is so much better today and it's not because of my surgery. It's because I'm, I'm using very, very plumping skin products. I've been faithful with my retinaldehyde. I've been faithful with my vitamin C. I've been very faithful with my SPF. And I do daily exfoliation, which is always going to give you that gorgeous glow, that light bounce that hits your skin. Daily exfoliation. 
these are the these are the things that have absolutely improved my skin in the last three to four years and it, you can too it's not too late i promise and you don't have to have a lot of money i'm going to show you all different budgets because if you are on a money diet and you can only do drugstore i don't even want to say oh you can only do drugstore that sounds inferior y'all there are brands out there that are no longer inferior and they're at drugstore prices. We've never lived in a better time, okay? So I'm so excited to see you back Wednesday for eyes. I'm excited to see you back Saturday for skin. And I'll, I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.